we have three patients who had flown in all the way from Canada, um, you know, for a kind of special treatment, what we have started, just started doing now. They are so special, it's just first time we are doing this procedure. In fact, they all knew before coming here that uh, we'll be doing this uh, procedure here. Um, I'll be briefly running through some aspects of what problem. I mean, very, very brief uh, uh, clippings. Uh, this is a special condition called chronic cerebrospinal venous insufficiency in multiple sclerosis. I'll expect bo ex explain both bit by bit. This is a small video clipping of what multiple sclerosis is. Multiple sclerosis is a disease affecting the nervous system. Our nervous system consists of brain, spinal cord, and the optic nerve. So this multiple sclerosis affects the uh, a neural element. Here you can see the brain. And uh, these are what's called the peripheral nerves. That is all the nerve cells, you know, which are on the outside, like for the fingers, hand, everywhere. They take, they are like a um, sensor. So I would say they take all the signals from uh, peripheral to the brain and they carry, some of them carry the motor nerves, carry the signals from brain to the periphery. And these nerves are covered by what's called a myelin sheath. Now that is the sheath what we have. And that is very important for conduction of signals, what you call, like electricity, you know, what you know, in element terminology. The problem here is, see that myelin sheath is affected. This condition is not new. This has been described for yeah. more than 100 years. And still we are working on what exactly is the reason for this. One of the initial or still what people think about it, what's called autoimmune, that is your own body hits against your own nerve cell. He, in this uh, uh, condition, we are looking at our own body cell is hitting against the myelin sheath. So the myelin sheath is destroyed, so conduction is affected. So the patients can have any sensory problem, that is sensation is affected, motor problem, that is mobility is affected, or eyes, if it affects the eye nerves, your vision is affected, varying from frank blindness, blindness to haziness and all those things. That is what all these years people have been working on it and the treatment was based on, on this. As we don't know the exact reason for the condition, there are so many treatments. There are about 500 described treatments starting from, I mean, if you go through the internet, even scorpion stings, acupunctures, hyperbaric therapy, uh, treatment-wise interferons, uh, chemotherapy, everything has been described. One vascular surgeon from Italy, Ferrara University in Italy, he proposed an etiology because his wife, she had multiple sclerosis, he was studying the brain. He thought there is something wrong with the blood circulation coming out of the brain, what is called a venous circulation. If you look at that normal, that is the brain, that is through the neck veins and the back veins, vertebral veins, your blood is going down. But if you have any problem with the drainage of the blood vessels coming out of the brain, you, are, you see that there is a reflex of the blood going back to the brain and that can affect the function of the brain mainly because a lot of iron pigments in your blood cells can get deposited around the blood vessels. So that can damage the, whichever part they are in that uh, starts damaging the blood. And that can be picked up by ultrasound or MRI and if it is confirmed, we can do a venogram and the venogram shows any narrowing, we can balloon it so the blood flow from the brain comes down pretty easily. Here you see one you know, diagram, the blood vessel is narrowed here, the wire goes up, the balloon goes up and the balloon is opened up and the vein also opened up so that the blood drains comfortably. You know, it's, it's now, it's an easy drain, the normal drainage of the brain is established so that there is no pressure it's in the brain, so there is no deposition of iron pigments or whatever in the brain, so the function improves.